so it gets cold inside. Genocide, homicide, no one survives. Your boy L. Dye in the building. <clears throat> For real, man. I'm not playing with y'all niggas no more. I, I try to give y'all the benefit of the motherfucking doubt. Try to look out for y'all, give y'all little props and shit, you know what I'm saying? But on some real shit, a lot of you niggas fucking garbage. A lot of you niggas fucking no fucking talent at all. Real fucking shit. Bless is a fucking imbecile. That's why um, she ain't blew up, because he said her fucking name so much. People go see her, then they just stop watching her, because she's fucking Nimrod. They just stop watching her, because she's fucking Nimrod. Gem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham had a son called Kush, and through the family line of Kush there came a man called Nimrod, who was also the ancestor of Nimrod, who was the first heroic warrior on earth. Since he was the greatest hunter in the world, his name became proverbial. People would say, this man is like Nimrod, the greatest hunter in the world. Tag on the toe, it gets cold inside. Genocide, homicide, no one survives. Fucking with my fam, it's like fucking with my pride. Get sent straight to hell on a never wrecking ride. You get it to yourself, you should have never tried. Too bad God doesn't recognize you. Uh oh. Hey, LA. When you call Jenny Burlesque a Nimrod, <laughs> did you mean nincompoop or nitwit? You know what I'm saying? Cause you know what Nimrod means? It means the son of Cush, the uh, uh, Babylonian I emperor who tried to build the Tower of Babel. I've never heard in my whole entire life people refer to someone as a, who's a imbecile or someone they think is a moron. Nimrod. That's stupid. That's like me getting mad at somebody and calling them, hey, you're an idiot. You're a cupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? And also, here's a, some little uh, trivia for you. Cupid, you know, same Valentine's Day, Cupid is, um, Cupid means desire. The word Cupid means desire. And Cupid, the, the, that, uh, Vicious character with the arrow, the little boy with the arrow, that was considered to be Nimrod when he was a kid, when he was just a toddler. They say that Nimrod was so adorable as a child that his own mother wanted him, you know, and he got the name Cupid Desire, you know, that's just a little bit of kind of like that, uh, you know what I'm saying, just a little bit of trivia for you, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm filled with all of these kind of like facts, you know. But I want to go into your little hissy fit and your little tantrum and this ain't a roast. I'm going to just try to break you down um, psychologically, you know, because I think right now there's something very unstable about you. I don't even think you should be even making YouTube videos at this point, you know. All right, because you just, you, as I said before, you did a whole lot of flip-flopping. Now, I saw that video, the last video you did about me calling me a retard or whatever. Man, that, that doesn't mean shit. I'm like, if we can go there, you know, I, I can post a video showing my uh, high school diploma, my college transcripts, and all my achievements. You know, <laughs> you do the same, post your high school diploma, uh, post your, if you got a GED. Now, what, what you good at, you good at busting those jailhouse jokes. Now, like Kevin, I used to work at a jail for some time, you know, when I was in my, uh, 20s and I was kind of like lost, didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, you know, I just got, I wanted to get a job with benefits or whatever, plus I was engaged to a female, and um, I know that inmates inside jail, the first, you know, they used to call the COs retarded all the time, retarded, retarded, you know, they use that, that that's like their main insult, you know, calling somebody retarded. And these same inmates just constantly be back and forth in jail. They'll be out of jail on Monday, be back in jail on Tuesday. They'll go out there and commit the same exact crime they committed last time on the, on the same exact street corner. <laughs> you know what I mean? So or with the same exact cop examine them. You know, so that don't really mean shit. But I'm gonna, uh, you know, what I'm saying, try to get inside your head because right now I think you're frustrated because uh, your YouTube career isn't going as expected. Now, you want to constantly... Now, when it comes to roasting about who won and who won, nobody's really going to admit that they won or admit that they lost. There's going to be people saying, yeah, I think this person won in your roast. I can, there's going to be people saying, hey, I think this person 
a, a one in the roast. That's like when you try to debate somebody, you know what I'm saying, making valid statements. Like when I deal with uh, Michael 5723, he said something about nobody can deconstruct his argument to rebuke what he's saying. Um, and I have, you know what I'm saying, deconstructed some of his arguments, not all of them. But he'll never get on YouTube and be like, oh wow, you got me. You actually debunked something <laughs> that I've said. Kudos to you. They're just not going to admit it, you know what I mean? It's like nobody's going to admit they lost in a roasting battle or this and that. You're like, you know what I'm saying? It's a matter of opinion whether Kevin won or rather you won or, and so forth. So, and you know, and if you don't like Philly Monty, you don't have to watch his videos. Now you can say it's the same thing about Tommy Sotomayor. The reason why I make videos about Tommy Sotomayor is because I have a problem with what he says. He tries to pull out his bullarchy, his mindless banter as somehow facts. Like he's trying to be a, an activist or whatever or somebody who speaks the truth. You know, and he, and he, and he has all kind of uh, distorted and he puts out a lot of misinformation out there. That's the reason why I, I got to come at him. Like um, some of this bullshit he says, he says something about the black, if, if the black race was strong, how did 5,000, 500,000 Europeans overtake 5 million Africans in South Africa? He, he, this is completely misconstrued. When the white man first got into South Africa or whatever, first of all, South Africa was the least populated area of Africa. So it will probably be easier to take over. Also, the white man got, came there and, and was a friend. You know what I'm saying? Just like when the white man did with the Indians, pretended to be his friend and backstabbed him in the back until he built himself a kind of like a strong infrastructure where he doesn't need the Indians, where he can do whatever he wants with them. That's what happened in South Africa. We may have had tribes going back and forth. You know, the white man came in and favored one tribe and tried to take down this tribe and then he'll turn around and take that tribe out. And also the reason why the white man had such a strong hold in South Africa for a long time is that this, the Afrikaners was getting a whole lot since they had so much wealth there they were being backed by Wall Street and therefore they had also had Ru Russian military at their disposal you know what I'm saying we're talking about helicopters and all kind of so the South Africa yeah you know what I'm saying I don't mean to brag about myself but you know I'm kind of like a smart dude you know what I'm saying I'm a nigga who read books you know what I'm saying and you keep coming out with this you guys ain't entertaining you got to be entertaining like you want to be some kind of buck dancing negro you know what i'm saying we already got enough black entertainers you know what i'm saying what about the black intelligent minds people that can uh debate people on an um realistic level you know what i mean like me as myself nobody has been able to st wants to step up and debate me about anything about the merits of Tiny Sotomayor, nobody has stepped up to debate. They can only resort to ad hominem attacks. I challenged Painless Risen. He said that I was irrelevant. He backed away. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I can I, I break out straight up facts or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You're still going on talking about entertainment, entertainment, this. And also, one thing I noticed about your videos, man, there's no progression. You know, I'm like, your videos look the same as when you first came out in the uh, game. Um, if you one thing you notice about my videos, my first videos I did with my iPhone, you know what I'm saying? Now I eventually got better at it, you know what I'm saying? I got a better camera, I got better editing skills, you know what I mean? There's, there's an evolution there, you know, it's like me. I don't know um, how to make tacos, but if I guarantee if I make tacos for a month, I'll be very <laughs> good at it by the end of the month than when I first started, you know what I'm saying? I know how to finesse it, you know what I'm saying? Your videos show no progression whatsoever you know what I mean uh, you, it's like you're not even trying and you want to be a big YouTuber and you're constantly going back and forth with Kevin Monty first you're better friends and then you're not you know what I'm saying that that shit is like a completely um, bipolar and then you're really mad at them really because they're not entertaining that's not a reason to be mad or angry at somebody or have a, a, a biff with them you know, you guys aren't entertaining, you're not funny. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I'm saying? That's just an opinion. That, that's your opinion. You know, as I said before, the YouTubers I go after, these guys come out as intelligent people that claim to deal with facts when they're not dealing with facts, when I want to argue their points. 
know what I'm saying? I'm not going to constantly come at somebody because I think they're not funny. I'll just say, well, I'm not, you're not funny. That's, it's just an opinion who's funny and who's not funny. I'm like, you constantly sound ridiculous, man. Why don't you just get your own legs to stand on? Because as you said, you're supposed to be this entertaining guy. Then prove it to us. You know what I'm saying? Um, start making professional looking videos or videos with some sort of better presentation. Man, I'm tired of looking at your shit through that fuzzy lens or whatever. You got Vaseline all on the screen and things of that nature, man. I'm like, I don't know, maybe you're having a mental breakdown or whatever and it just seems like you're all jealous and you're some hater ass shit and nobody's really watching you and so you need somebody to go after just to get attention so people can uh, like you or whatever. And I also find it funny that, and this is real talk man, so you got nine kids or whatever but you have all this time to make all these YouTube videos. I Me, mean, I don't have, well, I don't even have one kid, you know. I, and um, I don't, you know, so I don't even have that time. I'm busy doing stuff. That's why I didn't have time to call into that radio show because I was uh, doing things. But I've listened in, but I just didn't have time to talk. You know, um, you, know so you need talent to make YouTube. You ain't got no talent. Look at this dude, Afro Synergy. The way he talks is kind of weird. It's kind of boring. He talks like um, Tommy Sotomayor talks bad about black women. He talks like a computer program, but it doesn't matter. This dude made some valid points. You know what I'm saying? This dude was the real deal. And that's what I'm trying to say. Now, with you and Philly Monty and you and Kevin Smith, as I said before, nobody's going to agree who cooked who the most. You know what I'm saying? People going to say, oh, I won. Then you're going to say you won. And um, so, you know, that that's kind of... And with Philly Monty, he, he doesn't speak politically. He doesn't, he's somebody who claims not to be a philosopher. He says that. Doesn't talk about any things in a historical context. For him, it's just comedy. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to make people laugh. He stated that before. And then he got videos where he's speaking real talk about being married or being a father. He's experienced with that because he's a married man and he's a father. He can talk about things he ex experienced. He doesn't really talk about this whole lot of book lines or trigonometry because that's not his character. You know, that's not what he specializes in. That's not what he wants to do. So therefore. When someone is just coming out with straight comedy, and if you don't like their comedy, it's very easy not to watch them. It don't make sense. It's like the character, this female called Glozell. I did a cartoon on her. You know what I'm saying? She's a black female. I don't think she's funny at all, at all. And she talks like a slave, and I know for a fact 80% of her audience is white. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, there's a video where this female picked up a banana and ate a banana off the floor. I'm like, she, not only does she talk like a, a slave, but kind of like a, a slave girl, like a 14-year-old slave, not a grown woman slave. Like she's just, like she's cooning real hard. But she don't say any kind of outlandish comments or give out misinformation, like you know, black people are inferior or shit like that. She's just comedy. You know what I'm saying? Her comedy to me sucks, so I definitely I don't watch it. Now, you know what I'm saying? If you want to rebuke what Monty says, you know what I'm saying, on a logical debate, on a, on philosophical terms, you know what I'm saying, he, he's not that kind of guy, he gives out comedy, whether you like it or not, and therefore if you don't like it, then simply don't watch it, it's not like me with Tommy Sotomayor, when he says some whole kind of racial shit and says that the black women, um, you know what I'm saying, bringing down the black community, those are very hefty claims he's making, and therefore they can be subject to ridicule, <laughs> I'm talking like Afro synergy right there, but um, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what you're saying is like a, it's kind of pointless. One minute you're going to be down with my team. You said maybe Monty is funny. You want to check out his videos. Then you turn around and say he's whack and garbage. You know what I'm saying? And um, you said the only reason Monty got uh, uh, got popular because Tommy kept mentioning his name. There's some truth to that. It, it may. A lot of people who hate Tommy may go to Philly Monty because Tommy's mentioning his name. They don't like Tommy. But there's something about Philly Monty that maybe people are drawn to him that you uh, choose to ignore. Like for instance, Tommy mentioned uh, uh, Jenny Balest, <laughs> and you called her. You said, "Well, people click on her and see that she's an imbecile. She's a Nimrod." First of all, Jenny Vernes is a very smart person, very intelligent. The way she talks, articulate her words. So <laughs> I disagree with you right there. And also, Tommy also mentioned the name a lot. I don't think the really got popular off Tommy mentioning his name. 
and Tommy has created a whole entire series against certain people like Amir Giamante and Sun Ray. I don't think they really got too much popular off of him mentioning their names, but there's just something about Philly Monty that people are just drawn to and people are staying. Like Tommy says, like when people come to his video, if somebody referred to him, they see what he says and they stay. But Philly Monty, they may go to his videos because of Tommy and there's something he does that may stay. Therefore, Philly Monty can make a video where he's not talking about Tommy Sotomayor and they still get a whole lot of views. You know? So I think that that's jealousy right there. And then you talk about his radio show is garbage. And what Philly Monty did, he built his, um, you know what I'm saying? He built his clientele, made his radio show, and his radio show is more popular than you, your radio show. You know? And as I said, if you want to feel like you can beat Philly Monty, you got more, uh, uh, <laughs> that, that, you know what I'm saying? You have more charisma than Philly Monty, then prove it. You know what I'm saying? Get more subscribers than him. You know, you mention his name, you mention Tommy's name, and I also find it funny that you go on hard on Kevin when Kevin's back on a boat. You know, I find that funny. When Tommy shuts your page down, or maybe, maybe you flagged your own page. I don't know. I know that when Tommy used to shut down his own page for publicity, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? After Tommy shut you, flagged your place, you didn't, do, <laughs> you didn't make one video against him, even though he he was probably the main culprit in flag, getting your page flagged, or people who work working for Tommy getting his page flagged. But seriously, you know what I'm saying? Um, the proof is in the pudding, you know what I'm saying? I, I challenge you to not mention uh, Philly's name, anybody's name, and try to make a name for yourself. Try to get these subscriptions, try to get people to talk. <laughs> to talk about you, you know, to see what you're talking about, you know, because going after Philly Monty, that's kind of pointless because, um, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, he, he, he del delves in the realm of comedy, you know what I mean, you can choose not to watch, it's not like he's saying something and telling you, like, hey, rebuke my facts, rebuke my facts, you know what I'm saying, try to argue with me, I win in the debate, therefore, he, it's not like he's opening the door for a debate, he's simply just doing comedy. You know what I'm saying? Try to make an it because you claim you want to be a big time YouTuber, you have all this experience in radio and this and that. Well then prove it, prove it to us, you know what I'm saying? Talk about some other shit and have people actually come listen to you. I made plenty of videos where I'm not even talking about Tommy. I recently made a video talking about yes, it's open season on black men and it was already shared on two websites. I think it's up to like 200 views or whatever. I'm not mentioning Tommy's name. You know, and I'm not trying to be a big YouTuber. I start my videos off saying, hey, I'm not a YouTuber. I just like making videos and so forth. So, you know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> and as I said before, it just seems like you just be, I'm like, man, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I have to look at your mental, uh, <laughs> are you mentally stable? And that shit you said about a queasy, you said, uh, Monty should imitate his voice, but then you said Queasy talks white and this and that. See, that's one thing about ghetto ass street niggas, you know what I'm saying? They always want to say, oh, this person's talking white and this person. Now, there's a difference between someone talk, trying to talk white and just straight up cooning for white people. I don't think Tommy Sotomayor talks white, I think he coons for white people. I don't think Queasy talks white. I think he tries to talk more intelligent than he is. He, try, he kind of talks like a member of Nation of Islam or some shit like that. I don't think he's trying to talk white. And as far as the queasy, you know what I'm saying, I feel that, you know what I'm saying, it's being revealed that, you know, he doesn't have really a voice and he's trying to be like Michael Cooper said with 23 and I mean, he's not really saying much. So that, that that's why I want to break down there. You can come by and try to roast me with your ad hominem attacks and so forth. Then you said something about uh, dick riders, you know, people down with a team. But in your own videos, don't you talk about the basement boys, how you're down with the basement boys? And so forth. Now, you may not be a part of a, a team here on YouTube, but you're part of some kind of team somewhere else. I'm pretty sure if Jimmy, your boy Jimmy, starts making YouTube videos, even if they suck, you're going to still ride with him because that's your boy. And there's things that Philly Monty does that I, uh, that I completely uh, disagree with. But if you look at me, Philly Monty, you look at Kevin, we're kind of different people. You already know I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm really trying to be funny. You know what I'm saying? I like to just use, uh, talk about my sharp observations, you know, and I pointed you out on your contradictions, talking about how you said Jimmy, you can't have Jimmy acting up because he represents your camp, but yeah, still you did a video with Jimmy where you're smiling when, when Jimmy talks about how, what he's going to do to, uh, you know what I'm saying, 
what he's going to do to Kevin talking about the guns and shit like that like you, you don't play that and stuff like that and then you obviously said like you're not responsible for what Jimmy does Jimmy's in the guns and stuff so you contradict yourself a lot you go back and forth a lot and then you're constantly going after hollow point redux and talk shit about Jimmy Bill. everybody you talk shit about I know why don't you find some other dude out there to talk shit about it start your own little movement going on or find another group of people to piss off the, that you can go back and forth and roast it seems like you can just constantly come back to uh, Philly Monty and go you're our friend at once time and then you go against us and you already pigeonholed yourself man nobody's going to sit up there and watch you talk about anything else unless you mention Philly Monty or mention uh, Tommy Sotomayor now you can say the same thing about me but you're trying to be a YouTuber in one of your videos you said you're going to blow up and in two years or whatever, which I seriously doubt that. Um, you're trying real hard that he keeps talking about this talent thing, who got talent, and um, if you got talent, then prove it. Get those subscriptions. Get you a video that can get, that can push up to 100,000 views. Now, I'm not saying that Tommy Sotomayor doesn't have talent. I've never taken that away from him. I just said what he says is a whole lot of bull jargon, you know. So, uh, that, <laughs> so if you got talent, man, prove it. That's all I got to want to say.